friends i am dr smita and uh, today i am going to deal with uh, the topic hypothesis so this topic is very important uh, for all the research students and also for the graduate post graduate uh, students and also for the exam examine examinees like uh, for net, who are preparing for net preparation and other set and other exams so first of all what is hypothesis uh, everybody must be knowing in a brief i can tell you that hypothesis is basically an assumption to a problem situation result assumption of what result it may be true or it may be false so its validity is needed and it is a basically it is a statement tentative statement tentative answer to the research problem and it can be false so we cannot rely only upon hypothesis so what is the use of hypothesis so hypothesis is a basic uh, it is a gateway you can say to your research problem it gives a direction to the research problem what you are going to do what you are going to observe how you are going to collect data Speci spe uh, specifically to a, a problem situation so hypothesis is a window it's a, a gateway to your research problem and it gives the whole uh, path it leads to a path towards your research and conclusion and it also gives a second hypothesis it also gives a second thought for creating a hypothesis for creating a research so it's very useful and it's uh, most important in the research paper now what are the criteria for hypothesis construction we can say that it is uh, never formulated in the form of question and it is very specific and precise it should uh, specify what you are going to do what is the problem and what you are going to do it gives an idea and tentative or we have already discussed tentative solution to the problem and uh, we, we must say that the statement should not be contradictory uh, there may be one hypothesis or related sub hypothesis also and uh, it should describe one issue only and sub hypothesis should describe the related issues so what are the types of hypothesis and we can say that there is a null hypothesis number 1 and the alternative hypothesis null hypothesis uh, says that there is no relationship between the two variables and the alternative hypothesis says when null hypothesis is rejected then we can say the alternative hypothesis that there must be a relationship between two variables for example in my research paper i started say for example that emotional trauma leads to emotional trauma in women pregnant women lead mainly to mental retardation in children so this is an statement so it should it has to be verified whether there will be relationship between emotional trauma in pregnant women and the uh, mental retardation in children or there may be no relationship so when there is there will be no relationship then it's null hypothesis an alternative hypothesis that it is it uh, it uh, if it is verified that there is a relationship between the emotional trauma in pregnant women and the uh, mental retardation in children so it gives a window whom you are going to select for your research as a sample so pregnant here in my case pregnant women of of certain age of sub, uh, of certain society so particular so not uh, you are going to pick up uh, from a socio economic status belong uh, lower socio economic status or higher no one sample you have to take and if you want to relate if you want to compare other sub hypothesis like uh, the pregnant women in socio economic uh, lower socio economic status they have more emotional trauma due to lack of nutrition and uh, livelihood problems and uh, the uh, women having uh, uh, who are in a high socio economic status 
they have less uh, emotional trauma if it is proved then uh, this is alternative hypothesis and if it is not proved that means if the emotional trauma and the socioeconomic status of the pregnant women has no relationship which leads to mental retardation then it will be null hypothesis i think you must have understand now you can see from books also here uh, there are two types of error also in which net examination uh, many times questions have been asked that is type 1 error and type 2 error so type 1 error the difference does not exist due to chance error or sampling error must be in realistic in nature then type 1 error and type 2 error that existing errors due to chance or simply error they due to chance when error exists so just have a look on type 1 and type 2 error so it's a very important question uh, for net and, and then uh, we will deal with what are the types of sampling and what is sampling we will go through that so first step what is hypothesis thank you